Breath starting to be noticed. And then making the knee come in on itself. Then the hip can release to the side. The bottom of the foot starting to show upward a little bit. And have a moment with that. Rest your hands on your legs for a little support. Gently lengthen your spine. Feel grounded. And then bring your shoulders over your hips and your ears over your shoulders here. Straight up and down. Take your hands out and do a few figure eights. Just move your wrists and your hands in a way that feels like opening, spreading, releasing. And then let them rest into your heart center. Using your core muscles to sit tall, navel towards the spine. And when you breathe out next, sound the om or hum your back. Hum your exhale, just get some vibration. It's really good for you. So prepare for an inhale. And then inhale deeply. Keep inhaling. And just let your intentions for your practice be there with that vibration, that calmness. And then tucking in with your body, make sure your knees feel okay. You can adjust your legs if you need to spend a little time going forward. So we do want to tip our pelvis forward. It might be easier to sit up on something. And whatever it is for you, just come out and spread your hands, bring your head down. Walk it out to your own comfort. So just exploring movement with lots of variations and, and options today. Let your head go down. So we do let the spine round a little bit, forward fold. Move some nice deep breaths through. Relax your eyes, noticing your body. Once more, feel your ribcage expand and contract. Walk back in a little bit. Take your right hand out to that 45 degree kind of angle. And then reach your other arm up and out to the sky. Finding a nice lateral release. Hand on the floor resting. Long through your neck. Open hands. One more breath. See if you can open your heart a little bit more. And then reversing this movement, like when we do reverse warrior, bringing that back hand down to the floor, open, and then the front hand lifting up and back. Noticing these lines of connection in the body, how reaching up your arm connects all the way down through your torso. And then release all those actions back to the center to any degree. Take your head side to side. Just feel the energy rising in the body. Exhale, be still. Inhale, walk out your hands. Bring your chin towards your chest. Draw your low belly back. Big rib cage breaths through the nose with sound. And then walk into bed over to the second side to that 45 degree angle. Spread your hand and then open your other arm up to the sky. So you're doing a little side bend, a little twist. With each pose, find the place where you feel something, but it's positive. A little core awareness here to support your body. Both hands open, long neck. Next time you breathe in, stretch it so that you have that time of exhale to reverse the pose. Spread your hands again, length of your neck going the other way, a little back bend. 
opening across the heart center can help us strengthen that energy center with compassion towards ourselves and others. One more time, move with breath. And then exhale to release back to center. And now let's come out and release the legs. Leaning back, find balance on your sacrum. Uncross your legs, hug behind them, and sit tall. Boat pose variation, in five breaths. Rest your feet into each other. Find balance. You could straighten your legs more if you wanted to, or just bring them parallel to the floor. Once more, tall, holding steady. Exhale, release to tabletop. Cross at the ankles, draw your feet back. Transition carefully to table, spreading your hands. And actually today, let's come up to the fists for this position to give a chance to work with that variation if you ever need it, or if you wanna just vary what you're doing with your wrists. So come up to fists and thumbs. Perch his knee up a little bit higher in my upper body. So just try to find your tabletop there on the fists. Do engage your low belly, close your eyes, try to feel that little uplift. And try to have a neutral spine, long neck, low back supported by the belly strength. Look simple is not easy. One more breath. Cow spine, keep your low back as it is. Just bring your heart forward, lift your face a little bit and gaze down. So feel a little stretch across the front body with the stable center. Try to broaden your chest. You can always change your hands back down if you would like or use blocks. And then relax, let's pull down to quarter dog, releasing off the hands completely. Don't tuck your toes this time, just pull back your hips, bring your head down. And quarter dog is like down dog in that there's a lift in the elbows and armpits. Length in the spine. Head releasing down. Nice big breaths across the back of the body one more time. Back up to your table, choosing your fists or your spreading hands. Tone in your low belly, close your eyes, try to feel that. And then come to your cat spine, let your tail round and drop, your head round and drop. Press into the hands lightly, but your uplift really comes from the core of your body. So we go lightly into the cow direction and deeply as you want into the cat. We don't usually come into this kind of shape, even when we're slouching, not deeply. So breathe into it once more and then slowly ease it back to neutral. And standing up, oh, sorry, not yet. Quarter dog again, tuck your toes. This time, careful, think about them, feel them. Try not to crunch them. Sink back your hips, walk out your hands, go down. Doing some of our downward dog work in this pose today. Letting deep waves of breath flow through, spine getting longer each time. Also waves of calmness. Tucking the toes under doesn't work for you or you need to stop at any time you can change it. One more wave of breath, long spine. Always an option to downward dog there. And then inhale up to kneeling. Um, not here long, just experimenting with upward dog from our knees. So just take a moment to plant your feet, ground yourself on your knees, hands by your side. So let's recreate the upward dog shape of pressing the arms straight, lifting the spine, a little stretch in the belly, a downward gaze and relax. 
Inhale again, press your arms like you're pressing into the upper dog shape. Lift both the front and the back body and relax. And then coming on up to standing in your own way with your knees bent so you can rest your hands on your feet. The tops of the feet with your knees bending, tip your pelvis forward, ground yourself, footprints deep. Letting the back body release. Inhale, come up to your cow spine. Don't change too much else. Just bring your heart forward a little bit. Find that little back bend in the upper back. And then release your chin towards your chest. Let your head come to neutral, hands to your waist. So find the sides of your pelvis, knees are bent. So here we learn to come into that cow extension, press your feet so you use your legs. Rising up, taking care of the body. Reach up your arms, stretch up to the sky. And exhale, come back down. So moving slowly through those variations, but still um, creating a lot of energy in the body by going slowly. Pick up your right foot, place it back down. Pick up your left, place it back down. Make that connection. Turn your palms out at the sides of your body and inhale, reach up to the sky. And then exhale, stay there, ground your front ribs and your shoulders. So shoulders and ribs down. Exhale to forward fold by bending your knees. Reversing back into where we were just a moment ago, rest your hands, tuck your chin. Halfway lift, press the arms straight, come up a little bit. Again, that cow spine, hard forward nose gaze. Exhale, establish plank pose. Go back just one breath. This is your strong pose. So just establish strong body. Then bring down your knees and come to upward dog. Press your arms straight, lift out. Ease your belly forward. Five breaths to explore where your knees are. Keep your knees down. Core engaged, low, low belly towards the spine. Just one more breath. And then core to table and to downward dog. So it's gonna change the energy in the hands. You wanna pull the weight back to the legs, taking it out of the hands and wrists. Or use the quarter dog with your knees down. Let your ears find your breath. Let's do a heart chakra breath in this pose. We're just letting the heart reach out. Fill it with an inhale and then exhale. Bow your heart towards the floor. Bend your knees, look between your hands. Inhale, straighten your legs and step forward. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, use your legs, extended spine, coming up. Stretching to the end of your inhale. When your exhale comes, release down your heart center. Find stillness. Weave your fingers together and press your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold again. We repeat these movements. Wrap the backs of your legs this time. Draw yourself into your own forward fold shape. Feel that stretch across your back. Halfway lift, a little standing cow spine. Bend your knees, spread your hands, legs back. Deep breath in. And exhale, stay in plank or bring your knees down and hug in your elbows for chaturanga. And release, come carefully to your belly. Stretch your belly out on the earth. Reach back through your legs, hands by your chest. 
Bring your legs down. So here we gather up the bandhas, that subtle core work to keep the low back steady and then lift the front body, lengthening that psoas line, lift your heart. Again, the gaze is down towards the nose. So in back bending shapes, we go into that opposite gaze to keep our neck long. Feel the strength in your back here. Give it one more breath. And relax your body a bit. Press to the hands and knees. Back to quarter dog or down dog, yogi's choice. Make the most of your practice, keep it therapeutic and positive. Can you reach your heels more towards the earth? One more exhale, weight back into your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, look between your hands. Exhale, inhale, step forward, make the other leg first. Come to your half lift, your standing cow. Forward fold, bend your knees, release your back. Stand up, use the strength of your legs and hips. Reach to the sky, stretch your inhale, whole rib cage up. Exhale, settle it back down, settle everything into the center again. Feel your energy, where is it stirred up? Welcome warmth. Coming to Utkatasana pose with the feet hip distance apart today. So this is also teaches us to use the strength of our legs. Bend your knees, sink back to that invisible chair behind you. Reach your hips back. And taking your left elbow under your right, come to eagle pose with the arms, keep working the hips low and a little lift in the elbows. Stay where it's safe for your knees, don't go too low. So just come up a little if your knees feel strained. Keep your feet open. Breathe into the upper back one more time. And press your feet, come up, lift your elbows. Breathe out, release your arms, float out to star. And exhale down, second side, and then we'll stretch out the hips. So sink back to Utkatasana, guide your pelvis down and back. Right elbow under this time, wrap it up, lift and lower at the same time. Bring a little peace to your face. It makes something that feels good feel even better. It helps you with things that are challenging. Just a light resting half smile. One more exhale, press your feet, come up, keep lifting gently in the elbows. When your breath releases, bring your arms down. And breathe in, float them up. Breathe in a little more. Breathe out, just float your arms down with your breath. Feel the resistance of the atmosphere, the energy. And now two sets of forward folds to stretch out our low back and back to our hips. Feet hip distance apart. Let your knees bend. So let's all start with bent knees. Guiding pelvis forward, guiding whole spine forward. Then release your hands. Where are they supported for you? And let your legs lengthen, your spine lengthen to your own degree. First set. Draw your shoulders up into your body. Just let the hands rest down somewhere, this first one. Feel your Uddiyana Bandha snuggled up there in the center of your belly. That low center, that little hollow spot. One more time, breathe out. Taking a second one where we engage the back body more by coming underneath the toes. So just come up to the roots of your fingers or to your wrists. And then try to pull your hands out, but don't let go. 
Broaden your elbows from each other and let your spine be long. So the straightening of the legs is up to you. Waves of calm energy. Last time. Exhale, finish. Carefully release your hands out, back to your pelvis, bend and press and stand. Exhale, arrive, compose yourself. And then open from your heart center to triangle pose. This, this is definitely a um, low back pose as well as the strong belly. So turn out the right leg, angle in the back leg, radiate out your arms, breathing in, over and down, exhale. So the work comes from the core of the body. We lengthen the low back on both sides. Rest your lower hand and then stack your shoulders. Try to gaze upward or sideways, just find side gaze. But out of your periphery, you can see that hand up there. So if it feels too much in the low back, just don't go over so much. One more exhale, anchor low belly towards the spine. Slowly breathe in and come up and change sides. Take an extra breath if you need it. When you're ready to exhale, radiate from your center over and down. Slowly, as builds your strength as you come in, ground your hand, stack your shoulders, gaze side towards the sky. Gently lengthen the sides of the torso, but with that stability of the core engaged. Deep breathe again. Anchor the belly with the exhale. Inhale, slowly release. Change everything out of that shape to your top, to your mountain shape again. And Parsvottanasana, standing pelvis front, right leg back, find your stance. Take your arms, roll the thumbs down and back. Come together, knuckles or elbows or wrists or fingers or palms. Work your way up your back if possible. Long spine, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out again slowly. So same base as revolve triangle. We find this forward fold with uneven feet. Lengthen across the back. Stop at any point. So gaze your big toe or towards your shin. Lead with your heart. You can feel the pressing of the feet activate muscles all the way up the leg. Around the hip. One more out breath. In breath, come up. Slide down your hands. Give them a little spin as you step out and change. Just letting that compression diffuse. Step to the other side, find your stance. Arrive, there's a little like, I am grounded, I'm here, I got it. And then work with your arms back, together. When you're ready to breathe out, come into your forward fold slowly. Working with this side of the body. Right. I do better to not fold quite as far on this side. So I listen to that and stop there. Pose still has the same energy. We protect our bodies. It gives our, our minds a, a sense of well being and peace to be taken care of. Use inhale energy to come out. Release your arms, step out, release your breath. And step back into your warrior A configuration. Sorry, I keep fussing with this, but I can't seem to get it quite right. 
Warrior A. Taking the cow face pose arms, we'll keep the right leg forward or right leg back. We usually do right leg back, so I'm gonna start that way for you. Turn to the front, come nice and low into your stance, trying to get this thigh parallel to the floor eventually. And take your left arm up, bend your elbow from behind your head. Right arm does that same move we just did, coming up the back. Connect if you can, or just let them rest towards each other. Lift your heart. Drive this pose with your back foot. Downward gaze, this is a little back bend. And make sure your knee's centering. One more exhale, feel complete without release. Carefully inhale, straighten your leg as you turn your back foot to the side, and then bend your knee again as you come to warrior B, rest your shoulders. Let your head turn to face your front hand. Eyes soft and steady in the practice, sometimes kind of determined. So you're right here where you can look at your knee, you can change it if you need to, you can notice it. Exhale, and then lean and reach, extended side angle pose. Last one in this set, just five breaths. Feel a nice lengthening across that whole left side, right side of the body. Press your back foot. And five, exhale, a little more. Inhale, straighten, turn feet to wide parallel. Breathe out, come to forward fold. Again, the knees can bend, drive your spine forward. Go with both arms over towards your right leg. One more exhale. Over to the other side. Just letting yourself come to forwardness. Release tension with your breath once more. Make your way back to the top of your mat. One step at a time. Notice your patterns. Stay mindful of them. And second side here, Jasana A. With the left leg stepping back this time, square it to the front with the hips. Knee centers over ankle and trying to come a little bit lower for 2021. A little more spread between the legs if possible. Take the right arm up, reach it. Bend your elbow, come behind your skull, try to find the top of your spine. Parsvottanasana arm the other side, roll it back, up the spine. Connect your fingers or not. So if this new approved wide stance is too much on your knee, just shorten your stance, use your back foot. Keep it positive. Releasing along the front of the body. A little lift of the chin and downward eyes. So you drop into the practice, even when you're figuring out where you're going, you're in a state of being receptive, really present. Try to let all else go for now. Press with your back foot for one more exhale. Straighten both the legs, reach out your arms for warrior B, turn your back foot to the side, and now bend your knee again, turn your head, rest your shoulders. Trying to find stillness in all these shapes gives us something to concentrate on. Exhale. Breathe in, I'm gonna bring my back foot in a little bit to make room to come to extended side ankle. Take care of yourself. Both hands gently open, gently reach. 
eyes to the reach again. Let the back of the eye seize the foot behind. One more exhale. Inhale, release. Back to the top. Just once more, stand up, reach up in any way that feels nice. Exhale, forward fold, learning to carefully go down to reach something and to lengthen your spine. Slowly release, keep breathing. And spread your hands, take back your legs, come to your knees and cushion underneath them or between your feet and your hips if you would like. You can also sit in a cross position. So doing a little hero or little thunderbolt so you can experiment with supports or come to easy pose. But we've been very busy and been on our feet. So check in for a moment, find your stillness. And whatever position you've taken with your legs, just think about the name Hero Pose. Draw your elbows back a little bit so you have a sense of an open heart and a steadiness as you face whatever it is you face. A little time to meditate with our chakras. So the root chakra, feeling the mula, the mula bandha. Take your lower two fingers with your thumbs. Some gesture for the root, groundedness. Finish the breath. Come to the, just touching the pinky finger. This is called the Bhuti Mudra and it correlates with the second chakra, our watery nature and our sacrum. Just meditate on that part of your body, any energy you sense or associate there. Breathe out once more. Thumbs up, a few rounds of breath of fire for our fiery center, our navel chakra, Manipura. So about 10 breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, your own speed. Rest your hands into your belly, storing your vital energy in our pranic center. Inhale, rest your hands upon your heart together. Just let their warmth be felt deeply into that center. The strength of open heartedness. Exhale there. Inhale, lightly bring the backs of your fingertips and fingers to your throat just so you touch that really soft area very gently. Hum your exhale. And may you have the courage to speak your truth. Getting into these really energetic top chakras, the third eye center, just lightly touch with the back of the hands and fingers. Just feel the warmth. Feel that calming point, respond. Again, hum your exhale. Try to hum right into that center. Exhale. In the last place, come just above the very top of your head with your hands. 
and come slowly down until you feel the warmth and energy of your own head. You'll, you'll feel some heat at some point. You'll feel some hair possibly. But just come to that place where you're just hovering, where your head feels the warmth of your hands at the same time. Just feeling that energy. Travel back down to your root, feeling all the spaces in between. We're just going down the spinal line. So having root and crown and all in between lined up. May you be balanced. And then just rest with your hands open for a moment to take that in. You can stay in knowing meditative state for the rest of practice, ready to release your folded legs. What would that look like for you? Downward dog or maybe plank pose just to release the knees, your choice. And then sitting down, folding your right leg, down is your sasana, bring it to the side, reach up your arms, breathe in. Engage your leg, forward fold, carefully, mindfully. Travel into the shade slowly. Once you've arrived, relax there. And the poses do correlate with different chakras. So maybe just observe where you feel this energetically in your body. Breathing out, there's a lot of energy from the sacrum and the root. Breathing with the heart, from the belly, all the ways. Come back to the other side. Taking time to set up so you feel nice as you can rest into the pose. Stay really meditative for this top part of our practice. Moving slowly, exploring, finding sweet sensations. Soft breathing. Feel your lower back on both sides. Breathe there. Notice that increased lengthening on one side in the pose. Exhale, finish. Inhale, coming up and coming to your back. Finishing practice on your back. Start with your knees bent. Grounding yourself. Finding center on the back of your skull. Bring your arms down to the floor. Figure four, stretch. You can have a pillow under your head for this one if you like. Right leg up, brighten it. So that means reach the ball of your foot, engage your muscles all the way up your leg. And then turn your hip to the side, bend your knee, rest above the other knee. Foot can go further away to make that less. It can come in to make it more. All good. Find your sweet spot. Working with your knee, your hip, and your back, everything. So you can, I'm kind of in between today, and it feels good there. Just up on the ball of my lower foot to bring it in just a little bit, but not too much. Keep your head centered so that your energy flow along the chakra line, along the central axis. Resting as we come to our finishing side of our practice. Take rest in these shapes. Stay for one more of your breaths. And then have time to carefully release out. 
Bring down your foot. Take out your arms and bring your legs from side to side a few times. It's rolling pose side to side or doing it more from the hip joints themselves like windshield wipers. Head goes side to side. Just releasing and then recentering. Pay attention to your head and neck. Elevate spine under your head. Left leg up, right. Like push your foot towards the sky, bend out to the side, come to rest, check in. So there can be a releasing open from the hip or a drawing in that will tap into the outer hip more. So just keep it good for your knee and your hip, your back. Gently support wherever you're working on this side. Gently rock the back of your skull, making sure that it's landing in the center. Letting your brain feel grounded. Feel it rest towards the back of the skull. And last time. Deep breath. And carefully come out. Arms come out. And again, the releasing at the hip, side to side, knees. You can rock more side to side pelvis. Just explore, let it feel good. And then let's come into center and work our seasonal practice with the onion pose on taking happy baby shape, calling it stirrup pose, and letting it stimulate the kidney meridian. It's the main meridian in the winter season. So you can work with your feet and your hips and knees where they feel good. So we're going to let the low back lengthen. Catch your backs of knees, ankles, inner or outer feet. So the kidney line root of the big toe, if you want to get into that inner side of the foot with your fingers. And again, pose means we take out all the effort. We take out any muscular participation. Just let the shape be held. You can always stop. Maybe you can also enjoy the stillness. I'm going to hold in a place where you can stay for time. You can always gently deepen or let go if you've gone. If you have space to go one way or the other, it's okay. Sometimes just some time will help you soften into the shape. Try to create that stillness in the mind as you observe the breath and just hold still. Grounding the brain. And just have another moment here. And perhaps thinking about where you might want to go as a counter pose. I think I'm going to stretch my legs out just to release the front of the hips a little bit. Whatever you want to do for a moment. And coming to bridge foundation, pick up your feet, straighten out your legs, bring your hands together as well. Exhale, low belly towards the spine, and then guide your hands and feet away from your face until you feel a challenge in your belly, but not a straining in your back. So 
whatever that is, just try to have them about the same angle. Anchor your ribs down. Use your bandhas. Three, two more breaths. Stay calm. Stay positive with it. And then bring the feet back up and draw them in. Bend your knees. Rock from side to side today a little bit with your knees bent. Just massaging the low back. You could weave your fingers. Memorize this one for later. It feels good. So your knees can be all the way in or, or not. And just feel that pressing into each kidney at the low back. And rest to center, just rest. Finishing with resting twist. That two knee stack keeps the low back with the pelvis. Brings the twist up the spine. Turn your head away from your knees. Rest your arms where they feel supportive and happy. Rest your eyes. Let your breath begin to slow down. Let it move into Shavasana mode. Stretching and releasing at will. Now time for that breath to explore the shape once more. Exhale, just be still, land in that feeling. Nice to release slowly from that shape, return to the back, and then guide the knees and the pelvis over the other way. So your low back lifts off the floor. Then we try to guide the other shoulder towards the floor. It's all fine. Your top hand. Your left hand can rest on top of your right leg a little bit just to give a little Grounding there, a little support. Could also go between the knees for a little support. Turn your head away and relax as much as you can. Remember to let the breath do its own exploring. Breathe out, come to center, come to seated. Plenty of time, plenty of space. Come to your easy seat or your lotus, half lotus, whatever feels good. And Resting your right hand, kind of the first two fingers at your third eye center. Options here to support this elbow or not use the hand at all. Nadi Shodana, nerve cleansing, and then we'll rest so that you can, if you need to go, you can just rest as long as you would like. Empty. We'll do three from right to left and three from left to right. So lightly close the left side, breathe in right side. Try to sit tall and upright. Exhale to the left. Repeat, inhale right. Three or five count. Exhale left, slow it down. Right side inhale. Left side exhale. Now the other way, left side, breathe in. Rest your mind, right side breathe out. 
Mujiao breathing calms the mind. Left side in. Right side out. Last one. When that is complete, breathe through both sides. Perhaps perceiving a dominant channel, not having to worry about that at all. Just if you sense it, notice it. Notice the balance quality to the whole nervous system. Including the brain. And now come to rest. If you need another vinyasa, you could flow through and lie down. If you want to stretch out again before resting or just come into rest. And just like coming to triangle pose, you know this one, we always do it. Take care of your body. If you like a pillow or an eye cover, in just a few minutes, you can help us assimilate our practice deeply into our tissues, into the deep layers of the body. Let everything let go and open up. Feeling a sense of lightness and openness across your front body. How that grounds into your belly center, into your spine, and into your back. And your brain be grounded as well. This, the brain is resting in fluid, resting in the back of the skull. Ask it to be soft. Jaw relax. Soft around your eyes. Breath free to flow. Um, Sakamaya Tanasoma Jo Tirgamaya Mrit your ma Amritangamaya Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May we move from darkness to light. Peace, peace, peace. If you noticed a dominant side of your breathing, follow that channel on your way back to your seat. Just make your way up, not to worry, just make your way up. Rest your hands into your heart chakra, into your heart center. Sound the vibration again together so that you may have that benefit again. So without fear, just humming your exhalation as slowly as you can, trying in OM. Just focus on the vibration. Breathe in deeply. Some more. Um.
Thank you so much for joining me for practice today, breaking things down a little bit, tuning your upper chakra line. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Namaste.